Let's start with the relatively less painful and work our way to the top of the most excruciating poisons in the world. Number 8. Mercury Starting off with mercury, this thing is more toxic than your ex. In fact, it is one of the most toxic heavy metals in the environment. It has a long history of poisoning the minds and bodies of people. From the 18th to 20th centuries, hat makers regularly went crazy, doing all sorts of tomfoolery and developing strange rashes on their bodies. Turned out, this was due to the mercury used in felt while making hats. The mercury reacted with the hatter's bodies and, depending on the exposure, made them go nuts. Mercury did not cause much harm in its elemental form, but when this bad boy evaporates, that too, at room temperature, then oh boy, you're in for some trouble. Once inhaled, mercury will try to mess up your central nervous system, attacking your brain and lungs. In addition to that, it can cause symptoms like intense tremors, hallucinations, kidney damage, insomnia, and mood swings. And the crazy part is, mercury was actually used as a medicine for a long time. Abe Lincoln used it to treat his depression with it. Of course, it didn't work and ended up contributing to his anger issues. But I guess being angry is slightly better than depressed? Ancient Greeks also thought it could cure constipation, though what it really did was totally demolish their intestines. So the next time you're feeling sad or constipated, or sad because you're constipated, try not to turn to mercury for help. It won't do you any good. Number 7. Lead We've all heard about lead poisoning. It's actually extremely common, especially among children. For some unknown reason, children have this tendency to put random objects in their mouth. Needless to say, this was a huge problem back in the day, when most of the toys contained lead-based components. And I guess nature wants to be even more cruel to these kids because lead is as sweet as something out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, making it the number one favorite poison for children worldwide. But children aren't the only ones getting their asses handed to them by lead. During the 20th century, lead was extensively used in paint, and as a result, many paint workers regularly displayed signs of poisoning. Even today, millions of people continue to suffer from the harmful effects of lead, especially in third world countries, where lead-based paint is still the shit. Though it may not be fatal, lead still causes some seriously painful symptoms. Abdominal pain, vomiting, and constipation are some of the most common effects of lead poisoning. In cases of acute poisoning, it can lead to some serious convulsions and even coma. And in the case of sweet, lead-loving kids, developmental problems such as stunted growth, mental retardation, and hearing impairment are pretty common. Luckily, lead poisoning is preventable for the most part. Just make sure that the paint you're using isn't like 100 years old. Oh, and those toys being passed on from your grandpa's time? Yeah, you might want to throw them out. Number 6. Tetrodotoxin Have you ever traveled to Japan or tried any of their delicacies? Well, just be slightly cautious because there's actually a bunch of Japanese food that could kill you. In fact, on average, every year around 5 Japanese are killed by eating one of their own signature dishes, fugu and pufferfish. Pufferfish, in addition to certain other fish, produce a type of toxin in their organs known as tetrodotoxin. Upon consumption, it can cause some seriously painful symptoms and can even be fatal. In the late 18th century, the famed British explorer James Cook, along with his crewmates, tried experimenting with some local tropical cuisine. But things took a twisted turn when a strange sickness got hold of the entire crew, and as a result, they couldn't quite breathe well. Turns out, the tropical cuisine contained a bunch of that tetrodotoxin, and him, already being a bland, food-loving Brit, simply couldn't handle it. Tetrodotoxin poisoning can cause symptoms like excessive nausea and vomiting, numbness around the mouth, nope, not that kind, and also weakness in the body. And for some reason, you were unlucky enough to consume a large amount of the toxin? Congratulations! You might just get one of the most irritating deaths imaginable. Your entire body will be cramping like you've been possessed as you gasp for air. This is primarily because the nerves that help you breathe simply are like, no, no more air. The best part? You'll be entirely conscious as all of this goes down. So I guess just keep that in mind the next time you go to a Japanese restaurant and are feeling a bit risky. Number 5. Strychnine Strychnine is a highly toxic alkaloid extracted from a tree originating in India. It has historically been used as a potent rat poison and is still used in many countries as a pesticide. The use of strychnine is highly regulated by law and for good reason. It can easily be absorbed through the membranes of the mouth and stomach. So, it doesn't matter if you inhale it, ingest it, or even just come in contact with it through a wound. It will enter your system eventually, and when it does, you're in for a wild ride. Strychnine poisoning will cause agitation, restlessness, uncontrollable arcing of the back, making you look like the cosine wave. Even low doses of strychnine could be fatal, 
and death isn't going to be a pleasant one. Simply put, every muscle in your body will be violently spasming up until the point of failure. Kind of like the muscular failure that gym bros like Arnold are always preaching about, but taken to a whole nother level. Once your muscles have reached said failure, you'll die of exhaustion because your body pretty much cannot deal with the pain. But surprisingly, strychnine ain't all bad. Um, I mean besides the death part. It is actually used in certain medicines for urinary incontinence, basically pissing yourself to the point of no control and limb palsy. Apparently, it's meant to help activate your muscles in order to get your shit or piss together. But this is also technically where the problem lies, because when taken in higher doses, this activation could get a bit out of control which causes the spasms. So basically, either you piss yourself uncontrollably or flex your muscles to death. Number 4. Amatoxin Derived from the highly poisonous death cap or amanita mushrooms, amatoxin is an especially potent poison that will cause immense pain and suffering to anyone who comes into contact with it. Unlike many of the other toxins on the list, amatoxin is kind of like a sluggish poison due to the fact that it's a relatively slow-acting poison with symptoms first appearing in 6 to 24 hours. The poison inhibits the functioning of RNA which ultimately leads to cell breakdown. If that sounds too confusing, then think of it like this. Remember the famous saying that the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell? Well, imagine the cell having no power to begin with. That's pretty much what the poison does. This mainly affects the liver and kidneys, which will slowly decay over the next several days, all while you are fully conscious to savor the extreme pain and discomfort caused by the process. You'll feel cramping abdominal pain, along with a feeling of nausea, up until a point where your body finally gives in and you slip into the shadow realm. No returning after this point. But not all hope is lost because there is a cure. Treatment with penicillin at the right time might save you from such a gruesome fate. Though, ideally, you're better off not putting random toxic mushrooms in your mouth in the first place. Number 3. Compound 1080 one of the most controversial vertebrate pesticides of the 20th century, Compound 1080 was designed to kill. And surprisingly, it was very good at it. Although a synthetic compound, it can also be found naturally in a variety of poisonous plants. And like all man-made horrors beyond comprehension, it was first tested on rats. Honestly, at this point, we're just a few chemical X's away from having killer mutant rats. Anyway, due to its major success in killing rats, it was soon hailed as a miracle pesticide that could wipe out almost any animal with ease. Kind of like a physical control shift delete. However, people soon began to realize the problem with compound 1080 when it was used to wipe out predators such as coyotes. It turned out that the bodies of the dead animals could remain toxic for up to a year after death. And the thing is, compound 1080 is odorless and tasteless. So you initially wouldn't even know if something was wrong. But the real danger is in the fact that it easily dissolves in water. So essentially, a dead animal that we think isn't toxic, plus deposing it into things like water streams or dumps where fumes can easily spread from, equals easy transmission of poison towards humans. And the real kicker? It has no antidote. I mean, if that isn't already enough to scare you, then let me break down the symptoms. Exposure to the compound will initiate extremely painful symptoms, such as hyperextension of the limbs, metabolic acidosis, and seizures. But hey, don't worry, you'll be totally fine after that, as long as you can survive the cardiac arrest that follows the seizures. Luckily, scientists figured out the major flaws with this compound, and people stopped using it. But the next time you see a dead coyote, maybe just stay away just in case. Number 2. Mustard Gas To be fair, highly toxic pesticides weren't meant to be used on humans in the first place. But worry not, to fill this gap in the market, we present to you a chemical toxin made with the single goal of inflicting pain on other human beings. Mustard Gas During World War I, the French used chemical weapons for the first time in history. But let's be honest, they weren't cruel enough to actually use it on someone. But the Germans? Well, they were like, screw it, and introduced mustard gas to the battlefield in 1917. Mustard gas did not have a high fatality rate, but the ones who survived suffered irreversible damage to their bodies. And to be honest, death wasn't really a bad option considering what the survivors had to deal with for the rest of their lives. At one point, almost 2,500 soldiers were bombarded by the Germans with mustard gas, most of whom had developed permanent blisters on the skin swelling, and damage to their respiratory tract. Some even decided to pull a top from Avatar and went blind. 
The survivors also had very long hospitalizations and were thought to be at greater risk of certain cancers later in their lives. What's ironic is that mustard gas was later used to develop chlormethin, a medicine used in chemotherapy for the treatment of some forms of cancer. So maybe war crimes aren't that bad after all. Number 1. VX Topping our list is none other than the human pesticide VX, an extremely potent nerve agent that was so tortuous and painful that it had to be banned by a UN convention as late as 1993. First developed by the British in the 50s, the gas was meant to be a pesticide but was deemed too toxic for plants. And just to put things into perspective, many plants are actually more resistant to poisons than humans. So they decided to be extremely sensible and discard it completely and wipe it off the existence of the earth. Oh wait, no, they use it on humans instead. And then they made more of it. Like, a lot more. So much more that the US actually started mass producing VX during the 60s like a trailblazer. And soon, other countries such as the USSR, France, and Syria followed. It started getting used in wars. People were using it to assassinate important figures. And even Kim Jong-un's half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, lost his life to it. What does it do exactly? Well, VX is highly toxic in all forms, be it liquid, aerosol, or vapor. Even if you manage to somehow hold your breath, it can also be absorbed through the skin, so don't worry. It'll get you, one way or another. This poison is literally like a sneaky ninja. It's colorless, odorless, and can stay in the environment for long periods of time. So you probably won't even know it's there. That is, until the symptoms start kicking in. Small to moderate exposure will cause drooling, chest tightness, eye pain, headaches, explosive diarrhea, and weakness. Even the tiniest drops on the skin will cause extreme involuntary muscle twitching, kind of like Goku after his Kaioken, and it also make you sweat harder than an OnlyFans model in church. Oh, and let's not forget that your skin will feel like it's being ripped off and then being stitched back together 100 times a minute. But if you were unlucky enough to get a large dose exposure, then you're in for a ride. First thing you'll notice is your entire digestive tract gets screwed up, followed by severe nausea and vomiting. On top of the diarrhea, you'll be pretty much flowing from both your holes. Then it'll attack your respiratory system, making each breath painful and harder than the previous one. And if you somehow manage to survive the lack of breath, you'll start getting uncontrollable seizures, followed by your nerves giving up on you throwing you into paralysis. And the final cherry on top is your blood pressure dropping so low that your heart will run out of fuel and just give up on you, leaving you in cardiac arrest. And the thing is, all of this isn't exactly instant. It can take a couple of hours for you to completely get wiped out by this poison. Till then, you'll have to enjoy each of the agonizing steps like a literal staircase of torture to death. Anyways, after a shit ton of deaths caused by the VX, People eventually realize that if something is too toxic for plants, it probably shouldn't be used on humans either. Since then, the gas has been banned internationally, and most countries have already disposed of their stock, or so they claim at least. That's it for today. I hope you sleep well, because I certainly won't. See ya.